Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna film a barn vlog. The weather is actually so nice today. It has been really wintry here and this is like the first sunny day that we've had in such a long time. So I thought perfect opportunity to do some filming. So I literally only have a few hours to ride and then this storm front is apparently coming in, which is really annoying. I really wanna to jump today, but I might end up bareback jumping. Um, it's kind of a long story, but let me try and summarize it really, really quickly. Basically my Bates jumping saddle has the care system in it which means that instead of like wool flocking it's got like this um, care foam. The care system is great, I really really like it but after 10 years of having that refitted um, and changed and redone it's started to compact. So I've had to put my saddle in to get it flocked. Essentially they're going to pull all of the care out of the saddle and then they're going to flock it with wool and then they're going to refit it to fletch. Um, but yeah it's really bad timing because I'm supposed to be competing in like a week and I don't have a jumping saddle and I haven't been on cross country, I haven't really jumped in the last few weeks and now I'm feeling like maybe I should just jump bareback because I really need to show flesh some fences. So basically I need to try and jump him today but I literally don't think I have any other jumping saddles that are going to fit him so we might resort to either free jumping or bareback jumping, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Um, I've got to suss out who's using the arena. If no one's there, maybe I'll try and free jump him because to be honest, I actually haven't ridden bareback ever on flesh. So I don't know, it could go either way. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of nervous to like ride in bareback to be honest. All right, time to stop talking. I'll see you guys down there. I have just caught the wild phone. Say hi, Flinch. I can't even fit him in. Your face is so big. It's so big. I can't even fit you in. Wild phone. Come with me. Yeah. Oh, no. He just wants grass. He's just going to eat grass. You coming? You coming, bro? So I just caught Fletch. We are just contemplating what we're going to do today. So I think maybe a bit of flat work. Um, I have set up some jumps, so maybe I will jump there back. I don't know, I'm still not sure about that. We may still do some bear back jumping, but I don't, I'm not really sure yet. Also, no one's around, so I don't want to like fall off and die, and no one's here to rescue me. So we'll see how we go.
Guys, I just finished riding bareback on Fletch for the first time. It was so exciting. That went way better than I expected. I honestly thought I was going to die at the start. But he was actually really well behaved, weren't you? I don't think he was very sure about it when I first got on. There was a bit of tail swishing, but I think once I got my seat right, he was flying with it. And that was like literally the quietest he's jumped in a really long time. Like it actually gave me something to think about. I was like, okay, so when I've got a neck rein and I'm like not using the bit, like barely at all, he was way, way quieter and he wasn't doing his usual like antics coming up to the jumps. So I reckon after that, it's probably time to look at investing in a different type of bit. I don't know, maybe he would go well in a hackamore. I don't really know that much about them, to be honest. And he was like, come on you, go for a bear. Doesn't want to come. Come on. You got bear planes, and then you can go back to your paddock. Oh my God, come on. It wasn't that much of a hard ride. He's eating the roses. Always trying to eat the roses, aren't you? One orange pony. Feeling nice and cool down now. You're such a good little horse. Can't believe you didn't buck me off. So the next trip actually worked way better than I expected on Fletch. Actually makes me think that maybe I need to look at some other options in terms of the bit I'm using for jumping. Um, because he was like more chilled me just using that than he has ever been with any bit that I've tried before. So like, I don't know. I don't know too much about bitless bridles, but maybe that's a, an option we need to look at. But I don't know if you guys like have you used any oh my god you're so cute so yeah if you guys have used any bitless bridles I don't know I've never had any experience using a hackamore I've never personally tried one out at all I honestly don't even know that much about them um, but I don't know maybe is there other options that are actually like legal to compete in as well so if you guys know of any bitless bridles that are actually EA legal please let me know down in the comments below because I'm definitely willing to try anything out um, just because he went so well today. I'm so impressed. He's licking my hand. Yum, salty. <laughs> Salt and fake tan. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Fletcher is like eating my hand right now. I'm not really sure what's going on there. He might be thirsty maybe. Yes. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at hand.equestrian. <laughs> and of course, subscribe if you're enjoying watching Fletcher and I. Bye guys.